this season, um, you know, you really see a lot more of the dynamic between Dwayne and his parents at that age. Um, you know, there's less of, uh, you know, the school drama, which is always really fun. But I think yeah. um, you really see that dynamic, especially between him and his mom, um, of him realizing what's important. First thing I want to ask you is obviously Young Rock season two premieres next week. And you're all you three are playing different versions of the rock. Uh, so what can fans expect from your characters in this upcoming season? This season, it's it's a little surprising because I think, you know, last season we left off and um, you may think it's going forward, but we're actually going backwards a little bit with me and I'm going to be in Nashville. So it takes place a little bit before Pennsylvania. And yeah, I think this season, um, you know, you really see a lot more of the dynamic between Dwayne and his parents at that age. Um, you know, there's less of, uh, you know, the school drama, which is always really fun. But I think... Yeah. Um, you really see that dynamic, especially between him and his mom, um, of him realizing what's important. There's still more shenanigans and thieving, even more so than uh, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania had. Um, yeah. But there's going to be a lot of a lot of challenges, and I think you know Dwayne at 15 in Nashville um, really struggled, um, especially in figuring out who he is. You know, it's very uncomfortable, um, but it's exciting. And Uli, what about you? Uh, so for me, uh, we kick off with Dwayne at uh, playing in the CFL. Uh, obviously, we know that didn't work out. Um, and then we, we have the seven bucks moment, which is uh, yeah. pretty big off in his journey. And then we get to see him find his feet in the wrestling ring. Uh, and then, you know, grow into, you know, we get to see the first glimpses in, into him evolving into the rock. So, uh, well, you know, the early glimpses of that. And Adrian, what about you? Um, for me, uh, I'd say you can expect a lot more excitement in his era of time in the role because he goes on more adventures is what I'll say. Um, it's going to be really exciting for people to see what what's um what's next for little dewey at his age and um yeah that's really it and what's the one thing that you all all of you have learned from Dwayne after uh now doing two seasons of young rock uh i think i think for me is Dwayne is so he just has a, such a huge appetite to learn i mean as much as he is driven uh, he just is, will always put himself in the position of being a student of whatever it is, whether it's football or, um, or wrestling. He really is keen to start from the bottom and, and work his way up. So th I think for me that is, is pretty much explains, one, his work ethic, but also his, his mentality when, when, you know, everyone likes to see things uh, in their finished stages, right? You know, like... Uh, at the top of their game, but, but really seeing uh, what it takes to get there is, is something key for me. I feel like, um, you know, I've learned that Flick Dwayne has mastered um, confidence without arrogance yeah. in a way that, you know, he uses that confidence to be sure of who he is, but also is vulnerable to hear what other people say and to learn, like Uli said, he's learning as he's growing. Um, but still has the confidence to believe in himself and um, take on whatever, you know, task is ahead of him. Um, um, yeah, I'm still thinking. Uh, but <laughs> I think um, Dwayne, he really, he really goes for what he wants to do and he doesn't look back or double think what he, he wants or is going to do next. Um he really goes for it with all his, all his potential. And uh, is, I think that's really cool. Absolutely. Well, guys, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it. And again, congratulations on season two of Young Rock. Young Rock season two premieres next week. What can fans expect from this upcoming season? They can expect more wrestling. Yeah. New wrestlers. Uh, <laughs> Stacey, what do you think? 
was just about to say that. Lots more wrestling. Um, wrestling fans will get to see their favourite kind of iconic wrestlers on the screen. I don't want to give it too much away. Um, <laughs> you'll see the family go through a whole new uh, journey. As we know, they travelled around a lot and um, it's just a bit of a roller coaster. So more of that in season two. Um, yeah. It's a fun ride. Uh, of course. And jo- Joseph, I wanted to ask you this. Uh, what's the biggest thing you learned uh, by playing the role of Rocky Johnson now for two seasons? I, I mean, I, I knew nothing. I knew nothing. Yeah. About- so uh, everything, everything I, I got to learn is new information to me. Um, I didn't know about him and Tony Atlas being the first, you know, African-American tag team champions. I had no idea. Um, I didn't know why he left the WWF. Maybe we'll get to hear about that. Um, so it was all it was all new to me. Absolutely. And uh, Stacey, um, your character Atta has shown he has a lot. She has a lot of love for Dwayne. Uh, she tries to take care of him as much as she can. And and, ob- and Atta has been appearing on the show quite a, cu- a couple of times. Um, have you got a chance to talk to her? And if so, um, what have you learned from her? Uh, yes, I've just because of COVID and things, we've only ever met uh, virtually. So we've had um, a few conversations like this, um, just kind of, you know, messaging on social media and things. Um, what have I learned from her? I think um, it, just in terms of where we're going with season two and her involvement in um, the wrestling world, it was really interesting to go back and um, see some of these old photos of uh, them, you know, playing that supporting role to Rocky, but then slowly moving into it becoming the focus on Dwayne. And and the fact that she has been there through all of that, um, you know, just getting to hear some of these, some of the stories, not only from Atta, but, you know, we've got Brian Gerwitz from Seven Bucks, who's there, who's very involved in the wrestling world and has been for a long time. So finding out more about the world of wrestling and just kind of imagining that there's this woman who fits into that with that it was a world where there weren't that many women around um has just been really fascinating to find out more about so yeah and the last question for me before i let you guys go is um you've obviously have been doing this for now two seasons so what's the what's the best thing about being on this series i think the best thing for me is is just I actually love my castmates. I, I love coming to work. I love working on this show. Um, it, it, it's just, it's a comedy, which is something I've always wanted to do. And, um, you know, blessed to get to do it with such amazing people. I second that. It's de- it's definitely the people who make the show. Um, and, you know, right from the top, it's just like the, the culture of the show and the workplace environment and everything is just such a joy to be around. So it's it's that it's not kind of hard slog or anything. Um, it's just really lots of fun. And every day is different. Walking onto sets in an amazing art department have created the 70s and you're just like, wow, and the costumes and everyone plays a part in um, creating this world. And it's something new every day, which is just a lot of fun to be a part of. Well, Joseph and Stacey, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it. And again, congratulations on season two of Young Rock. Young Rock season two premieres next week. But what can fans expect from uh, Leah and Andre the Giant in this upcoming season? I'm so excited about um, season two. You're going to see more of Leah and who she is and what was happening with her um, uh, prior to how Dwayne Johnson is. And it's about how how he started. It's about how she um, had to battle uh, with other uh, uh, promoters, wrestling promoters. She has a court case that she has to go through. So more exciting, more of Leah and her relationship with her daughter, Atta. And um, so there'd be more of that. Yeah, from Andre, you're going to see a little bit more of the same. You know, I think there's uh, definitely, uh, we're going to have uh, some time with little Dewey again and him imparting some uh, some wisdom and some love towards him. Um, I take a little bit of a step back a little bit for a few episodes. Uh, I'm going to help Leah uh, as her court case sort of progresses and help her along the way. And then, uh, and then we'll see how it goes after that. And I want to ask you this, uh, Leah is known for being one of the first female 
promoters in pro wrestling history. How has the experience uh, for playing Leah, uh, playing playing such a strong figure? Um, how has that experience been playing such a strong figure who is a big part of pro wrestling history? Well, thank you for that. Uh, well, first of all, I, I needed to know who she was and how she was. And that was very difficult because there was very little known about her. There's n- nothing much known at, about her at all. Um, so it was a lot of uh, information and advice from uh, Dwayne and his mother, Atta, um, how to, who she was and how she was within their family. And then I had to ask uh, for um, some dialogue um, assistance because didn't know how she sounded. Mm-hmm. Um, they sent me um, some particular, some um, dialogue. Um, in terms of her, well, first of all, she's Samoan and I'm Samoan, which which made things so much easier. And yeah. the women in our community are very much alike. Well, women back then, not, not now. So it was really easy to play um, a Samoan woman. Um, so, and also the writers and producers uh, knew Leah uh, when she was alive back then. And so it was also great to know, and they would provide me with some information and feedback on that. She was a great character, great sense of humor. Um, and so assistance from them and others that knew of her helped me play the characters as uh, authentically as possible. Yeah. Right. And Matthew, I'm going to ask you this. Uh, you have been promoted to a series regular for season two. Um, what was your reaction when you first learned the news? <laughs> no, obviously, it, it, it was a nice uh, turn of events as far as just I think it was a credit to the way that people uh, connected with Andre's character and sort of uh, enjoyed sort of how he came into to play. Uh, you know, obviously it means that, uh, that Andre will live on. It was cool for me, you know, to be able to continue that sort of side of the relationship, uh, was important and, and hopefully, you know, as things go on and progress, uh, we'll get to see sort of Andre and sort of his, you know, his later years in life and how sort of, uh, and how that came about. Cause you know, that it was a, it was a tough last few years for, for him as, as a human being. And, and so I think, uh, hopefully as time goes on, we'll sort of delve into that part of it. And the last question for me before I let you go is, uh, obviously, Dwayne The Rock Johnson has played a big part in this series. I know he's been on set quite a few times. What have you guys, what's the biggest thing that you learn from Dwayne while you're on set with him? Well, to be honest with you, we, you know, unfortunately, we weren't really around Dwayne on set. Okay. Uh, you know, we were out in Australia shooting. And when COVID was such a bad deal uh, a year or so ago when we first started the series, Dwayne was stuck here in the States, having Dwayne get in touch with us and talk to us through what those relationships were like. Um, you know, for Andre, he was Uncle Andre. And, and so Dwayne did a great job of sort of imparting uh, what that meant to him and who Andre was for him growing up. You know, and I'm sure it was the same for sort of for, for Anna's character. All right, great, guys. Uh, again, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it. And congratulations on season two of Young Rock.